Today, we're going to be learning super speed. The best part is, it's actually really, really easy to achieve. All you need is two clips. One of you running from one side to the other, and another shot of just the blank plate, or the background. After you are done, load your clips into Premiere. The first thing that you want to do is put is grab your empty shot and put it on the bottom layer of your footage. Next, grab the shot of you running and put it on top of that. After you're done with that, you're going to want to highlight the top clip. You're going to isolate the part where you start running and make a cut there. And then, right before you stop, add another cut there as well. After you make your cut, you're going to want to go to the beginning where you first made the cut, and you're going to want to press add frame hold. And as you can see, it's frozen. It doesn't move at all. The next thing you're going to want to do is highlight the frozen clip. Then go to your, your effect controls, click the mask button, and mask run the character. This can be pretty rough. Next, you're going to want to feather it so it blends a little bit better with the background. Next thing you're going to want to do is press the stopwatch for the position tools. Drag your character from the point where you just cut it all the way to where you're about to stop and then watch it back and see if it's good. Next thing you want to do is probably go to the effects panel and search up directional blur. After that, you're going to want to drag onto your clip and then change it to a certain amount. I like to keep it fairly high so it looks like you're going super fast, but you don't have to. And that is how you do a super speed effect in Premiere Pro. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and tap that notification bell if you want to see more. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.